more and more turbo checkpoints come available lately and I thought it was a nice plan to compare a couple of them, six of them. What I did is uh, create six images with each of them. The images are not cherry picked, they are seeds zero up to five. They come straight from the sampler, there is no upscaling or post processing. This is what comes out of the checkpoint immediately behind the sampler. Um, Dream Shaper, it well, looks good in my eye. Why? Well, there's a lot of variation in the hairstyles, in the eyes, in the, yeah, the face. Uh, uh, there's skin texture and if we zoom in, uh, I don't see any strange effects happening. So this this all looks uh, right uh, to me and the images, yeah, they look quite good. The next sampler is Hello World and it looks completely different. There's far less variation. These girls all look uh, similar. They could be sisters. The hairstyles are the same. The skin is much too smooth to my liking and also there is a certain softness to the images. If we, if we would go back to Dream Shaper, look, that looks more sharp and this is yeah, sort of softer, which you may like, but if you want an ultra sharp picture, the Hello World is not going to do it. And if we zoom far in, then we start to see these, uh, yeah, these little patterns that you so often see with AI generated images. And that was totally absent with the Dream Shaper uh, checkpoint. So this would not be my personal favorite. Next is a reality's edge. Uh, well, this may be a reality, but it looks a bit scary to me. Uh, the girls are almost all uh, the same, at least similar. The hairstyle is similar. Everything actually is similar, but there's something, yeah, almost eerie about these images. I, I don't know why or I cannot explain it. We also see if we zoom far in this, these typical AI patterns uh, in the skin. The skin is textured, I, I have to say that. So if you uh, render a lot of images with Reality's Edge, you might get a couple of good ones. Next checkpoint, uh, RealVis, and see what happens if we come uh, from Reality Edge. It has again this softness over the image, a sort of soft focus, uh, which is not bad, but it is not ultra sharp. Uh, the skin is too smooth to my personal liking. The images are nice, they are varied, uh, the girls differ a bit and the hairstyles differ a little bit. So this would maybe be my second choice at this moment. Let's wait to the, to, till we see the rest. Ah, Ultra Spice, well, if I go back and forth, real vis Ultra Spice, I would uh, choose Ultra Spice because the images are a little bit sharper, the contrast is better, there's a good variation and now there is again some skin texture at least and if I zoom further in, uh, yeah, we see uh, not that much of that typical AI uh, checkered pattern. So yeah, that, that is a good second uh, for me. Dream Shaper still is my first. And the last one on the list is Unstable Diffusion. I don't know what is happening. I used all the, with, with all the checkpoints, I used the prescribed uh, settings. And um, uh, with this one, I can't get it right. At, at least I don't think this is right. There must be something wrong, but I can't figure out what. Okay, for me, with the portrait photo, Dream Shaper would be the winner. That would be this one. I simply like every image that came out and the skin textures are nice. Okay, let's go on to another prompt. Uh, this time a woman with a dress, still a photograph. We start again with Dream Shaper and also here with this woman with dress. The variety is great. We get all kinds of different dresses, different women and different backgrounds. And these are not cherry-picked, again, these are seeds 0 up to 5. 
Uh, nice. Look good in my eyes. Uh, hello world. Does it again with uh, similar images, similar uh, backgrounds, similar girls. Uh, the pictures are not bad, but the skin is much too smooth to my liking. Uh, Reality's Edge, nice contrasty pictures, uh, nice dresses, uh, not too much varied, but uh, yeah, these pictures are okay in my eyes. I would uh, could go for uh, this one. Uh, Real Vis, also varied in the dresses. Uh, the, all the pictures are taken, this is a bit further away and this is a bit closer. The head is almost off, uh, off uh, screen, uh, so well, probably not my personal best. Ultra Spice, nice images. Uh, it has apparently a tendency for um, flowery dresses, but the dresses and the girls and the backgrounds, they are all varied, so that is nice. And then the last one, Unstable Diffusion. Again, there must be something wrong with the settings or I can't find out what to do. This looks much too cartoonish for me. These are meant to be photographs. Um, okay, it's at the bottom of the list, but maybe that's not due to Unstable Diffusion, but I could not find the correct settings somehow. On to a completely different style image, a watercolor painting of a nice scenery with a sunset. Dream Shaper creates again six nice images and varied again. The um, sceneries are, yeah, they are all different. This is sort of a lake, this is the sea, here is a little boat. Uh, here the sun is, has a strange location with regard to the mountains, so we have to discard that one. But in general, uh, there's a, a shed over there. The, the, the scenery itself is varied, at least. Let's go to Hello World. Uh, different style, a bit more cartoonish and a little bit less varied, I would say. And also the trees, yeah, they, they look quite different from these trees. Uh, these look nicer in my eyes than the, the Hello World trees. It, it would not be my choice. Uh, Reality's Edge, yeah, that makes nice images, a nice style of drawing or, or a watercolor painting. The sceneries all look more or less similar, so there's a little less variation, but uh, uh, style-wise they are quite okay. Real Vis insisted in uh, showing a hand that is doing the painting. <laughs> I don't know why it uh, decided to do that. The prompt was exactly the same. Uh, the images are not bad, but yeah, I don't want this, uh, this hand in view. So uh, I probably could get rid of it with a negative prompt, but I kept all the prompts the same for every checkpoint. Ultra Spice, yeah, quite okay images, at least there's a lot of variation again. Uh, the style is a little bit different, but uh, uh, maybe a little bit cartoonish, but the variation is okay and, uh, well, it's pleasant to the eye. And Unstable Diffusion, again, uh, I don't know what is happening here, but this is far too cartoonish to my liking. Uh, well, this is uh, of course not a scientific test, it is a personal opinion. Every time when I render something with a Dream Shaper, it comes out quite okay. And uh, Ultra Spice could be uh, my second go-to choice. Uh, of course your ideas may differ and that's great, that's, that's, that's even nice that we have different views. But um, Dream Shaper for now is my go-to. Uh, checkpoint because it's fast. I render an image in six seconds uh, because it takes only six steps. Well, this was it. Maybe see you back in the next video. In the meantime, have fun.